Now with our lead story, race and crime in America. Joining us from Washington, Fox News political analyst Charles Crowder. So did I advance the so-called conversation, in a word I hate, about race, or did I divide people further with my talk, uh, talking points memos well, over that, the last two days? That can't be the criteria. The criterion is, our, is one speaking the truth. Was Obama speaking the truth when he spoke last week or not? Look, when you talk about development of character, it happens in three places. It happens at home, it happens at school, and it happens when you receive stuff from the general culture. And in each of those areas, you have the beginning of the pathologies of what's happening among young black males, the high crime rate, the high rate of homicide against them. They are dying in the streets. There's, at home, we know what the catastrophe is, single uh, parenthood. In D.C., where I live, it's almost 90%. Then you've got the schools that we know are a disaster. D.C. has the highest expenditure for public schools per capita in the country and the lowest test scores. And we know what the problem is here. It's the unions. One of the first thing Obama did when his administration came into office is he stopped the voucher program, which was allowing a few kids to actually have a decent education, black kids have a decent education. Two of them, in fact, were in his daughter's school, a, a very high-class private school. And the last influence, as we all know, is the culture. And we all know of the sick, misogynistic, angry messages that a lot of kids, white and black, absorb from the general culture. All right. So That's what, the root of the problem. What are we to think, then, of President Obama, Sharpton, Jackson. I don't know uh, if our previous guest, uh, Mr. Morial, falls into that category or not. But I do know this. There isn't anyone trying to solve these problems. They want to have a conversation. They want to BS about it, okay? But we, you, me, others, we know that for every problem there's a solution. But the solutions are to get tough but and I don't to call agree with that. people out. I don't agree with that. Not all problems have a solution. It's sort of a, the American way. We always assume that is true. Uh, the Middle East is an excellent example. There isn't a solution. It'll come one day, but you and I aren't going to be. Are you going to write off the African American communities in I'm the United States? I'm not going to write. No, there are some solutions to one or two aspects. For example, the one about education and the schools. There is an answer: school choice. Wisconsin has given it a shot. We know it works. That's a question of the unions. That's a question of so politics. So why does President Obama it's a question oppose of it? We know why. Because the biggest supporter, one of the largest supporters of Democrats for the last 30 years is the teachers union. Are you, selling the a, are you saying that the president's selling out his own race because he's, not he's got selling out, political currency? He's not selling out a race. What he's doing is he's accepting the policies of a major constituency of his The policy of party. failure. He's accepting well, a policy of look, failure. We have made that argument. When, when it comes to the other part of it, though, the part about the family, you don't have a solution. Even you don't have a solution. Well, look, if, if everybody would rise up and say, oh, come on. peer pressure might turn around. You mean a conversation, Bill? No. I'm talking about public service announcements from these public rap service. Come people. On, Bill. Just public ram it down their throat. Have people we go have in. Had public service announcements on drugs for 50 years, it doesn't accomplish anything. It, it gives you a sense, well, perhaps we're doing something. Some problems do not have easy solutions. If peer they pressure were to go against this uh, catastrophe of single parenthood, if peer pressure, I mean, from people that, like Jay-Z and these people, or who exploit the situation to get rich, if that were to turn around, I think it would have at least some benefit. But you're writing the whole culture off right now. I'm not writing them off. I'm saying that some problems are cultural, generational, and will take a long time to change. Dan Quayle raised the issue you raised, the Murphy Brown case, of the way that the rich white Hollywood celebrates single mothers. That's lovely if you have a lot of money and you're famous and you're an actress and you're on television and you're fictional. It isn't a funny story. It's a, no. it's a tragedy if you're young and black. So there are, this problem is not new. Some of them have a solution. The others will require 
a change in the culture that will require a generation. All right, but and I think we've got to start fact. to speak out about what the root causes are and stop all this diversion crap that they're trying to pull. Charles, That's just a conversation. Yeah. I'm sorry. There are policies and there's talk. I'd rather do the policies. Start with school choice. Let's make a difference there. All right, Charles.